stupidly epic. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to You've Got 5 Minutes. Today's game is the first of what I hope to be plenty of VR experiences for you to talk about. For, for me to talk about, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I finally got my PlayStation VR uh, through the door today. Well, yesterday actually. Um, but today Rage came round. And we were having a laugh with it and, you know, we we're just trying all these like different demos and stuff like that. But uh, the one that I wanted to cover first was uh, Resident Evil 7. Uh, I know this has been out for a long time. Like, I, I know this came out, like, what is it, January or February, like, last year. Um, but, you know, this is the first time I've ever played it. Ever. Like, I, like, I haven't even played it not in VR. So... This was a uh, you know perfect opportunity to try the game out and try it out in the sort of best possible light because VR is like the way you're meant to play it you know well, well I, 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 I don't I don't mean to say that it's inferior if you don't play it in VR it's just you know they they seem to have done quite a lot to the game to make you feel like it should be played in VR like you know really close up of knives in your face and things like that and you know trying to make it feel and look like you're the person that's being hurt you know uh, <laughs> but yeah it's it's harrowing it's really really scary <laughs> and uh, see this section here the, the, the reason I chose this section to show is just like a tiny cross section of like about an hour's worth of gameplay I think I had like maybe 55 minutes worth of footage and I just wanted to show this one wee bit because this one section here of following, uh, I, I don't even know either character's name. Is it Ethan? Ethan's the main character? I don't even know his girlfriend's name, wife or whatever. Um, but following her through this area in VR felt like I was actually following somebody in this horrible, dank basement. Like, I actually felt like I was there. Uh, <coughs> pardon me. The, <laughs> the thing is with VR, right, is that I didn't, I didn't think it would work with me because I've got, like, my left eye's lazy, I wear glasses, and, like, my glasses aren't, aren't amazing. You know, like, th these are 10-year-old glasses. Uh, I really should go to an optician's <laughs> Get, get myself like you know my, my eyes checked up again but eh, whatever um but it i didn't i didn't think the vr would work with me because of the problems that i've got with my left eye and my left eye is really blurry and like i could barely see out of it but for some reason aside from a slight bit of blurriness the the vr was totally perfect you know like it, it, it worked really well um i'm quite a you know i'm, I'm quite a heavy set guy so uh, other problems included, like you know, the 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 the, the screens uh, fogging up a little bit to start off with when I when when I first put the thing on. But uh, but aside from that, you know, that subsides. You know, like once your once your face is in there and it's in there for a wee while, it sort of sort of equalizes and the uh, the fogging starts to uh, go away. But uh, this game though, <laughs> say. And the reason that like I've got commentary in the background, I've, I've I mentioned it in the wee notes down at the bottom, but uh, the it, it, I'm actually talking to Rage in this in this game. Like I'm, uh, he 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 came round for the day to to check out the VR, uh, and uh, I'm talking to him while I'm playing the game. And I didn't realize that the VR headset had a microphone on it. So like I was get like my my voice was getting recorded. While the gameplay was being recorded, and usually I do post-game commentary, so I can talk over the footage and talk about what I thought about it. But uh, obviously, an hour, I, I didn't want to lose like an hour's worth of footage, uh, <laughs> especially of the the you know the the formative parts of the game where you're where you're first like sort of looking around and that. Uh, I didn't want to lose all that footage, so I decided to just to you know quieten down the background audio and like just talk over it anyway. Uh, so apologies if that's annoying. I, I, mean, I am sorry for that. I, I, I just didn't realise that the headset had a microphone on it. So I'll remember to mute that microphone next time uh, Next time I record the, the footage for the game. <coughs> Pardon me, I've got a bit of a cough. Uh, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, like, 
<laughs> this game is really, really scary in VR. Um, it gets a little bit of getting used to, and, and there was a tiny, tiny bit of uh, motion sickness for me. Uh, I, like, I, I just felt it for a few minutes, and then it kind of subsided, but... Uh, the 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 whole like looking around and moving the camera around and stuff like that is is quite difficult to start off with because the camera doesn't move smoothly it moves in 30 degree increments and you can't look up or down with the right analog stick you've got to look up and down on your own if you want to look up you look up you know like, like with your head if you want to look down you look down with your head um but if you want to you know turn your character you can only do it in 30, sort of 30 degree increments, which is uh, quite strange. But, it, like, it, like, it works because, like, I think specifically, like, they, they didn't want you to have total control over that because, I, I, I don't know, I, I, think, I think maybe that would cause motion sickness more if you were to... Oh, I, 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 I don't know how to explain it. I, I, just, I just felt like after... A, after sort of getting used to the 30 degree increments, I think it worked really well. Um, I didn't think it would, because I did watch Game Grumps play a wee bit of this in VR, and uh, I was like, why is it like flickering like that? Why is it moving like so quickly to the left and right? But uh, no, it, 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 it does work after, like, uh, once you get used to it, it does work. Um, but man, what a, what a cool game to have in VR. And I'm terrified to play more of this in VR. I, like, I don't even know if I, I'll play any more of this in VR because that, like, <laughs> it's really, it's heart pounding, you know, like, it's, it really is, it, it does get the, you know, it does get the blood flowing, it, it, it does get the, the adrenaline pumping when you're getting chased or uh, when it, like, you, you'll, you'll see in a second, you know, uh, in in this section here, like I'm I'm kind of confused to start off with of what's actually happening, um, because I'm like, well, why is this door locked? Like, do I have to go back the the way I came or whatever? And yeah, like, it it takes me, it takes me a few seconds to get that, but yeah, it, this this is what happens. But uh, whenever you're whenever you're looking around in this game, and especially whenever there's another person there, it feels like you're there. It it it, it feels like you're. You're actually there with another, with another person, and uh, you know, like I didn't, I didn't use the headphones that came with the, with the PSVR. I decided to use my own headphones, you know, like actual proper ones that cover the ears up, uh, and my goodness, that makes such a difference because it, it it immerses you in the, in that world and makes you feel like you know all the audio that's coming at your ears is coming from all these rooms, you know, and, like, all these people that are, like, that are talking to you in the game. And, wow. Wow. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm blown away by how cool the VR is because I was worried that it was just going to be some sort of, like, lackluster kind of gimmicky sort of thing. But I'm glad to say that it's not... <laughs> It's not like it's not like the eye toy. It's not like it's not like you know like when uh, PlayStation Move first came out. It was just like a way to get motion controls in the game. It what is it? What it's not just a gimmick. You know what I mean? Here's this bit here, man. Uh, this is another one of the reasons why I chose this piece of footage because it's like totally mental. Uh, <laughs> and it's like. You know, I'm, I'm like at this point, I'm tapping L two, cause I'm that, I'm, I'm like what, <laughs> and the game is totally mental. Like it's, it's like while you're in the game, this is insane. Like it feels, it feels like you're trying, to, like you're, you're, I'm tapping L two, and I'm like, why is it not working? <laughs> the reason it's not working is because you're meant to hit R two. I'm so flustered though because the game feels so. Like I'm actually there, you know. Um, yeah, it's total scary. It's total crazy, <laughs> and uh, man, what a what a weird game. What a psychotic game. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is almost the end of the footage now, guys. But uh, my goodness, what a what a cool game. What a and and just surprising as well. Really surprising that uh, we actually got. 
you know, like got it to actually work with me because, I, I, again, with my eyesight being really poor and things like that, uh, I, I was I was really worried that I was going to invest all this money into this PSVR and uh, only my friends would be able to experience it coming really, you know, when they come round or whatever. Um, but even, even then, though, I would, like even at, at that, I would have been happy with that investment just to have, you know, something to entertain my friends when they're over, you know, uh, just something unique, something, like, kind of fun and quirky. And yeah, guys, Resident Evil Seven, play it in VR if you if you have the disposable income to like play it in VR. Try it in VR because this game is absolutely mad. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye for now. No. Bye. So I've downloaded a bunch of VR demos. I've got uh, the Last Guardian VR thing. You know, I want to I want to try and show off. Uh, I've got the Thumper demo. I've got uh, Super Hot VR. So it, quite a, quite a lot of good VR content uh, upcoming, guys.